Uh, uh, well, we did like I like I was talking about, man. We had a ton of very very good games, some unexpected uh, games from specific players as well. But we did have a few games here that we need to talk about because we told them, told you that you needed to watch. Number one, starting off. Uh, for games of the week, we had the Cowboys versus the Steelers in Sunday night football. And boys, let me tell you, there's a stat that's been going around. Dak Prescott is now the first quarterback in NFL history to have thrown two interceptions in the same game on two different days. Oh, yeah, because it fucking <laughs> started late. <laughs> they started late. He threw an interception at the beginning of the game. He threw an interception at the end of the game. The Cowboys still come away winners 2017, but he is now – there's nobody else who's going to get that record from him. It's, it's it's just not possible. He get paid $60 million to suck it up through five weeks, and boy, just Dak Prescott and that team, that Cowboys team are awful. How they won this game, I'll never – I really don't know. Really don't know the 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 offense for for Pittsburgh is just bad. I don't know what's going on with George Pickens, Sean. Maybe maybe you have a little bit more insight onto this. We know uh, that George Pickens is is now probably going to be asking for a trade. Uh, I think there was some some uh, some talks inside the locker room between uh, Mike Tomlin and and George Pickens. They legitimately just were not even looking at him. Legitimately not even looking at him. He was wide freaking open for a majority of the game. He had black eye tape going across that said always bleeping open or bleeping always open, whatever it was. Uh, and open, open, always bleeping. Open, always bleeping. He put it, he put it on backwards for some reason. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> uh, and, and you know what? He was, he was always open and they hardly looked at him. Uh, overall, this game, very tight, but not realistically a, a very good game. Dak, Dak Prescott, Coming away with some good stats, but but played really, really bad. Jalen Tolbert led this team in receptions with uh, uh, seven uh, and 87 total yards. So uh, maybe the game winner, found, though. I, I did have the game, winner. The game maybe, winner. Maybe maybe uh, maybe they found a, a, a guy to take over for Brandon Cooks as he's on IR with a knee infection. So who, who knows? It's going to take some time because uh, he doesn't he may not have his boys anymore down there after that second to last play of the game. You guys remember that? Uh, no, no, no. Everyone only no, remembers no, no. the last play, especially oh, the last the touchdown. So Cobra got smoked in the nuts with the ball. So <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. Oh, that's yeah, right. He yeah. went down. He did True. get. I thought he got smacked, and that's mm-hmm. why he was like huffing and puffing. But uh, you know, he got hit in the balls. That that took one in the cojones. Yeah, I think honestly, the Steelers probably like the Steelers just had a rough game on offense, and like they did not score enough to win. I think Justin Fields kind of going out at one point. Uh, for what was that like one or two plays? Which yep. I'll be honest, did not know Russell Wilson was the fucking third string. Yep. yep. Which is wild. Kyle Allen over. Oh my god, that's, dude, that's gross. I Russell, was like, Russell who is that? Hurt. I like Russell looked up. Hurt, okay. I saw Justin <laughs> Fields go out, and I looked up. I was like, oh, Russell Wilson first snap. Think- I looked up, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> you think they're not putting Russell Wilson in because they don't want a quarterback controversy? I think. I think he's I think his his confidence and like his image is just shattered. He's like Sam Hurt, Sam the third string. We don't want a controversy. Literally anything. He's so like about his image. He lives in like this movie, Mr. Unlimited. You know, he's a fucking weirdo. And so he's like, I can't I can't have people thinking that I'm just washed. So bench me. But I, I think he's trying washed. to make up for uh coming back too early whenever he was with the Seahawks still and fucked up his hand. Yeah, he came back way too early for that. Now he's just taking extreme caution and waiting till he's 100 percent. Because mm-hmm. last time was whenever it started going downhill for him. But uh, for your George Pickens take, I, I honestly think it's Mike Tomlin reeling in his diva a little bit. I mean, he's had a deal with Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, all those guys. Or Tavis divas Bryant. in the locker room. Divas in the locker room. Ben he's just reeling, Brown. reeling him in a little bit. How do the how do the Steelers Ravens, always but... do this? How do they always get the diva wide receivers? They actually get some pretty good production out of them, uh, surprisingly. And then as soon as they leave, they just absolutely implode. Uh, outside of Juju, obviously, who's who's been able to to play well with the Chiefs, maybe not outside the Chiefs, but at least with the Chiefs. Uh, but everybody else has really imploded as soon as they get out of that locker room. But how do the Steelers keep walking away with diva receiver after diva receiver, and more so than any other? that has diva receivers because mike tomlin confuses them as all hell with his quotes in the locker room 
So they're just sitting there questioning everything. Then they That's get out. Funny. They're like, whoa, this is how you actually <laughs> talk to people? Yeah. I under- I know what you're saying now. I do think uh, was uh, Holmes, was he was he drafted by the Steelers? I don't believe he was. You're interesting. You're, I you're feel thinking like this San, San Antonio Holmes. San, San Antonio Holmes. That's who I was thinking. I was not thinking of San Antonio Holmes. I was thinking of uh, another player. Oh, well, I think um, I think they have. If they didn't draft him, they did draft Juju, though. Correct. Yeah, uh, Juju did, was they drafted. Draft Antonio. They did draft San Antonio. They did. I think so was, I guess I was yeah. They just thinking draft of Santana Divas. Moss for a reason. I oh, okay. They just seem to draft divas. That's insane, especially because he's never been under five hundred. Mike a coach. just knows how to hold his receivers down, man. He knows. He just knows. He's the ultimate player coach. Then I guess right. Like at the end of the day, he has never gone under five hundred, and he's had diva after diva, and he's found a way to keep them at bay long enough, and they've won. So, and now he's got a diva quarterback. And, uh, and that's I, that's why he's on the bench. Yeah. Oh, that that diva quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Justin Fields. I mean, maybe he's a diva. I don't really know. Man uh, goes out there and does <laughs> a job. Yeah, but uh, I have a bigger question for you, though. So I I don't know why the Steelers have divas. I think it's it's you know maybe Mike Tomlin puts on a facade before he drafts guys, and then he like hits them. Maybe it's the scouts. Real life. Maybe it's the scouts. But is Dak Prescott the Brett Favre? Of our era, no, he's not good enough. Mm. He's not, he doesn't sling the ball enough for me. I would I would say that he is a gunslinger. I wouldn't. Yeah, I would say not, he is a gunslinger, but he is not accurate enough. He's not. Yeah. He's not the gunslinger. Yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> but he's got as many interceptions. He's got his. He's he's got. He throws so many interceptions. Yeah, but Brett Favre was able to win games. And like, he, Brett take Favre over. Was, he Brett Favre was able to win games. At will, by he himself. won one Super Bowl. Went to two. Has yeah. Dak even made it that close? He's made it to what two NFC Championship First games? Got blown out. I mean, hey, that's fair. Totally, totally fair. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like there are a lot of similarities. There's a lot of similarities for sure. Yeah, I really think there are, man. Because it's the end of game. It's the end of close game. Dak Prescott interception that just reminds me. I feel like so much of Brett Favre sometimes. I'll give you um, that one. Maybe, maybe not maybe exactly this is, like Brett Favre, a, but he's like trending towards that. If he could like maybe win. Maybe this is a top five that we do. Top five, maybe top 10 that we do during the Chiefs by week. That's upcoming. Top 10 gunslingers, maybe. Yeah, um, let us know in the comments. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. But I'm trying to think here of like who realistically would Dak Prescott really remind me of as a quarterback and and – there's not too many gunslingers that are out there that are just as bad as he is. Like these gunslingers, you put them out there and and they'll throw the ball. They'll give you interceptions, but they can also go out there and win games at will. I don't know of a gunslinger like out there that oh. is just, I mean, Jameis Winston, but. I know one. I like Jameis Winston more than I like Dak. Is Joe Flacco a, a gunslinger? No. Not a gunslinger? No. He's He's a deep ball merchant. That's a great description for Joe Deep Flacco. Oh, my goodness. My who who goodness. are you thinking of, Sean? I'm thinking of a wet man that is well traveled, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. A lot of He's not in the league. Ryan, Ryan's Jack. better. Ryan's better. He's better, but there's a lot of similarities between those two. There are. What about yeah. uh, Stafford, Matt Stafford? Way better. Way ultimately I, better. See, yeah, but he's hard. got that guns. He's a gunslinger, though. But oh, you're saying a gunslinger and is bad? Yeah, because I don't believe Dak is good. Think of it like like again. I would, I'd, Jameis Winston, maybe can't will your team to win, the gunslinger, but, but like, can't will your team to win. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Because when we say gunslingers, those are guys like we mentioned, Brett Favre, uh, maybe a Dan Marino, like and go out there. Maybe it's not at the at the top level where you're in the Super Bowl or you're in an NFC Championship, but you can go out there and if your defense is sucking, you can go out there and you can will your team to win. Black Prescott has not done that. Yeah. He can't do that. I would say, I would say the so then I guess the better comparison for Brett Favre in your mind would be Josh Allen. Yes. Okay. I would agree. Okay. Okay. Because he's definitely a gunslinger. Won't ever win a Super yeah. Bowl, but yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, he'll go. He'll go at some point. Mm, if he goes to the, the AFC, AFC, maybe. No, 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 no. You, you, like, if Patrick Mahomes gets decapitated. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say all it takes is like one year for somebody to get hurt, and I mean that happened in 2019. Cap off in the side of the knee. No, no, I'm, I'm talking like it. season-ending injury. I mean, I'm yeah. talking like yeah, not that's, coming that's back for saying. the foreseeable future. We'll, we got we'll Carson come back. Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, yeah, we, we do have Carson Wentz. We're fine. There, there you go, gunslinger who cannot w- help will his team to Perfect. win. That actually might be it. Dak Prescott, that... Carson Wentz. Yeah, dude, maybe. Same, same. <laughs> same, but different, but still same. 